Hopefully that wasn't too low. Uh, too much boo. Um, this is a weird video. Um, hopefully you can see me good enough. Um, does I figured out an, another word or whatever that describes some of the feelings. That is the fact I'm I'm bi. Visit or sexually I like women and men. Romantically there's really no limit. Romantically it's more like pan romantic. Pansexual is like all gender. Romantically it doesn't phase me which gender they identify as. I'm still gonna love them. So, and then there's my gender fluid, which means sometimes I identify as male, somewhere between, sometimes female. Um, to feel this special, you need to eat this special. And when I'm male, I feel like everything is wrong about my body. I've been that way since I was little, as far as I know. But I never had a word for it, so I was just like, well, I just hate myself. And I've never really been fond of my physical appearance. That's why I do this. Because it's a way for me to express myself. I color my hair. I cut my hair. I do all things. I was thinking about getting a wig too at a point. Maybe. So I wouldn't have to like grow it out. I could put a wig on instead of having to wait for it to grow out and just to shave it off again. Um, and then a binder for when I feel males to help with this because you know I'm a curvy round person so the binder would help hide my boobs a little more make it look more like moves instead of actual moves if that's anywhere possible because that would probably make me feel a little better and I know with my binder being a bustier woman I can't get it too tight because that's not healthy for me but just to pull them in a little bit would make me feel like 15% better. And I'm not worried about anything below the waist because, you know, I my physical mannerisms change when I'm, I've noticed it. They change when I feel masculine. I walk a little different. I behave a little different. Most people say that you're just a tomboy. In some cases, I've always been like a tomboy. Because I'm physically female, that I would be considered um, a tomboy when I'm off doing like playing in the dirt or marathoning or something like that or out chasing the dogs around being like a typical boy. But I remember at one point when I was like six or seven, everybody would call me a boy and like, well. I'm a girl. I should have boobs. Why don't I have boobs? And now, sometimes, and now sometimes I don't even want those. They're just lowly. They're being the back sometimes. And then, I remember like, well, it was about fourth or fifth grade. I'm like, fifth grade, I think. I'm sitting there thinking, maybe I'm supposed to be a boy. And just dismissed it. Got a little more comfortable in my own body. Still had like, well, I wonder what it's like to be a boy. Actually, physically be a boy. Being curious and all that. And some of that's probably playing into my, you know, I'm, I'm bi. So I like both. But, yeah. And being bi is my physical attraction to people, which is what would be their physical, their physical dis display too. So if they display as a guy, I'm gonna like them. If they display as a girl, I'm gonna like them. If they're like tomboyish, you know, a little bit in between, I'm still gonna like them because they have the parts of one or the other. And for the pan romantic, it's not, that's not the whole physical perspective of it. That's uh, more their expression. 
if they express themselves as like a gender, I'm still gonna love them. Like if they don't feel like they have any gender at all, it's okay. And um, Ruby is is gender fluid herself, and that's why I started thinking about it. Yeah, makes sense. That that explains a lot of how I feel. First, I thought it was like my gender. Because it was like, sometimes I feel girl, sometimes I feel guy. But then I was like, wait a minute, that's not exactly true because I have moments when I'm like, eh. I feel like man manly, but I still like being a girl. So that's like that in between part. Um, and then there's the, the panorama magic, I've already played that. But, yeah, I was thinking about getting wigs for family days. And a binder from my male days, but I'm not in too much of a hurry for that because, you know, I already, I already have ideas for things I want to get other than the, you know, T, F, T, M, or M, T, F things. And then. Because I was looking at this uh, Phoenix, which is like, you know, Phoenixes are uh, rising up, being something new, becoming something else, you know, like being more of a whole. And then I found one that's like a rainbow colored, a picture of it, and I want that on probably my leg, my right leg, or. One of my arms that are like a little more naked and stuff. And it's like rainbow colored, but it's really pretty. I can't pay it Friday, so I might have it then next weekend. We'll see. Um, anyways, I'm pretty sure I rambled enough. Thought somebody was coming. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.